up everybody welcome back to the channel this is mystic waters and today we are playing ostentatious on episode choose your story okay honey yes y'all ready to get into it chapter 19 oh my god i love this story it is saturday y'all saturday is ostentatious day y'all already know how y'all do it today y'all fine i'm good i'm good i'm good over here i do have a slight headache y'all like <laughs> but i'm doing this for y'all you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm so excited okay let's get started let's get started oh remember to like comment subscribe and share if you care honey and click that notification bell so you know when i post honey yes so now here's the deal I will have you my bed tonight and again the night of the ball then you can charm whatever smug bastard you want that evening knowing what i did to you before and indeed that very morning take his money and line my pockets with it the following day i won't i cannot you will i want assurance that you will keep your word what better way to remind be reminded of what you need at the ball <laughs> oh my god are we in agreement no what I, I need time to think. You have one day. Yeah, get him, Johnny, get him. Bash, crack. Johnny's first made contact with Robert's face again and again. Stand you cowardly strick of a piss. <laughs> he roared as Robert staggered and swayed. I should have done this weeks ago. Bastards like you don't learn their lesson. Crack, you soft sack of shit. Smash, stand and face me. Johnny, stop! I heard the words as though someone else had said them. They sounded so far away. Johnny heard nothing. His eyes were glazed over in rage as again and again he beat Robert. He's going to kill him! Oh my god! My legs took over as my brain was devoid of reason. I ran to seek help, praying it wasn't too late. Why would you go seek help? Who cares? <laughs> Bill! Bill! Bill is in the kitchen, miss. May I be of assistance? It's Johnny. What? Baby, what's wrong? You must come quick or he's going to kill him. <sighs> what is that? What was that in the apples? Bill and the other close. Oh, why am I talking in dude's voice? <laughs> Bill and the other close behind me. We made it back to the clearing in record time. Johnny stood over Robert's limp body. His shirt splattered in blood. Bill froze. Oh, frick me. Johnny, what the hell have you done, man? Baby, you must leave now. Bill barked at me, but I felt rooted to the spot. Baby, you will make it worse if you stay. Others will already be coming. Go now. Johnny didn't meet my eyes as he painted his glaze fixed on what was once Robert's face. Now a bruised and battered mess. I turned and ran back to the house, taking the route uh, away from the main path. As soon as I reached the house, I made a beeline for where Penny should be, only to bump straight into her. Baby! Oh, Penny, I'm so sorry. We are undone. They have discovered you? No worse. Robert found out. He attempted to blackmail me, and Johnny found out. Oh, no. That's who they gave, have gov, wait, <laughs> sorry. That's who they have gone to retrieve. Who has gone? All the men I think Maxwell may have called the police. Baby, you were there? Yes. How bad was it? Bad, I don't know if Robert is. What? I looked at the floor. Suddenly a door flew open and I saw my father and aunt emerge flustered. Baby, there has been an event. Please go inside immediately. Penny, see that baby is taken aside. We have business to attend to. Of course, ma'am. Father, what has happened? I'm concerned. I tried to act surprised. Luckily, the genuine emotion in my voice seemed to sell my act. Nothing for you to concern yourself with. Some of the staff have been brawling. I will handle it in your uncle's absence. Oh, no. Have the police been called? I asked ap apprehensively. We shall handle this ourselves. I see no reason to involve others and have this spread around the town. If this, if the villain is who I suspect, then it's high time he got what's coming to him. Who do you expect? You know, the one responsible for my aunt stopped and looked at me. Come, Anthony, we must make haste. 
Penny inside with Miss Baby. Yes, ma'am. Y'all. Y'all. Please come inside, Miss Baby. Y'all, what are they going to do to Johnny? What? Am I going to see him again? I sat and waited for what felt like hours. Penny came frequently to check on me, but no updates were given. Oh, my God. Until finally. Baby! Penny, what's news? I must be brief. Johnny is being held in the cellar. Your father has interviewed him and he has admitted to beating Robert. Is Robert? He's alive. Barely. Johnny has broken several of his ribs, his jaw, probably his collarbone too. The surgeon is with him now. He really gave him the beating of a lifetime. What will become of Johnny now? I don't know. Your aunt is livid. She wants him to be whipped again. No! Baby, you could convince your father. What? He is in your uncle's study now, speaking with Maxwell and your aunt. Go to him. Beg him for mercy. He will listen to you. Please. But what will I say? You'll think of something. Just please go. Oh, my God. I ran towards the study. Oh. My mind flooding with thoughts and fears until I arrived at the door. My hand hesitated over the door for a moment before bringing it down heavily. Enter. Oh, my God. What are we going to do? This is getting crazy. I strode in confidently with my head held high. <sighs> my father looked surprised to see me. Baby, are, are you doing here? Oh, wait, what are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> Can you please retire until later? I have pressing matters to attend to. Be confident. Be, a, I'm, be confident, girl. No, father, this cannot wait. I have something very important to say. I said important. <laughs> I got to accent somehow. I don't know. What is it? Can't you see we're in the middle of something? But the, the but this relates to the matter at hand. What do you know of it? I know that a servant has been beaten and I know who is responsible. How can you possibly know? Everyone whispers around here, aunt. You know this. A lady does not trouble you herself with the whispers of servants, for goodness sake. No, but a lady troubles herself with doing what's right. Good gracious me. What on earth are you talking about? Johnson. The villain? Defend Johnny. On the contrary, he is a gentleman who has been wronged. You foolish child. He's a rogue who left your poor servant alone with the child. You are quite mistaken for the child was Robert's and not Johnson's. Everyone gasped and looked startled by my words. I held my head high def definitely or whatever she said. <laughs> Baby, how dare you throw around such accusations? He told your uncle himself that the child was his. No, he said he was responsible for her. And he was, wait, and he was, <laughs> as Robert had completely abandoned her, leaving her with nothing, having robbed her of her virtue. Johnson, her friend, was supporting her financially. How on earth can you know of any of this? Penny has told me herself. I've had very few friends here, and Penny has been a true one. All that I have said is true, and you may ask Penny herself. Be that as it may, it is no reason for it. Not only Penny, Robert also attempted to seduce Elisa. <gasps> Again, as my aunt looked as though she might faint. Baby, this is a serious accusation. It is the truth, every word. You tell me I am foolish, wide-eyed baby, but my eyes have seen it all and have no reason to lie. Robert is a putrid man and Johnson blameless in all of this. Silence. Everyone looked at each other. Thank you for informing me of this, baby. I will speak with Johnson and Penny presently, and your sister too, so it seems. If all that is said is true, then I thank you for bringing it to light. You cannot be serious, Anthony. This boy has been nothing but trouble. You know yourself what he has done. If the boy has been blamed for a crime he is innocent of and then goaded by Robert, no wonder he snapped. If this is the way you conduct your household in my brother's absence, it is hardly surprising the servants have our brawling. My aunt inhaled sharply, but she knew better than to step out of line. Go speak with him then. If you are so unhappy with the way I conduct my household, I am happy to hear that one of your servants may have made advances on my daughter. Imagine if Robert had succeeded. Baby is being fanciful. What does that mean? There's no way anything like that could happen under my roof. <sighs> really, bitch? Sorry. <laughs> Without me hearing of it. Under your roof? Under his roof? Under the woodshed roof? Under no roof at all? 
girl, and that is not even the last of the story. It's not the end, honey. There's so much shit that been going on, girl. <laughs> I will speak with Elisa, and she, and we will, sh wait, and we shall discover the truth. Baby, please leave us now. Y'all, what's about to go down? Uh, what's about to go down? What? What? What's about to go down? I spent the rest of the day in my room until I was summoned to attend a meeting with Elisa, my aunt, and father. Girl, you had better tell the truth. Mr. Keeley had gone again to check on Skipton's recovery, though I cared not to hear of his progress. <laughs> now, Elisa, I must discuss something extremely important with you. What is it, father? Are you aware of the events today? I know that Robert has been by... Uh, seen by a surgeon i know not what happened he was set upon by mr johnson are you familiar with that name yes Elisa glanced at me fearfully before looking back at our father yes sir the gamekeeper yes why would he hurt robert oh wait why would he hurt robert <laughs> Elisa seemed panicked now the reasons are starting to become clear to me but i must ask you how well did you know robert what do you mean? There has been an allegation that Robert attempted to uh, seduce you. Can you confirm or deny this rumor? Elisa gasped and I cleared my throat pointedly. Depending on how many points you have earned with Elisa, she will tell the truth or lie. Oh no, do we have enough points? I just needed her to tell the truth. Oh good, oh, oh, oh thank God. We have enough points. Thank you, sister. Yes, sir. Robert attempted to woo me. His aim was to seduce me and when I refused, he grew cold. What has this to do with anything? Thank you, Elisa. That would be all for now. Thank you, sister. Girl, girl. He left the room. Baby, what on earth? I know, girl, I know. Robert found out about Johnny and I, and he attempted to extort money from me and have me physically. So, Johnny, he protected me, Elisa. And the child you claim was his, Penny's baby? It was Robert's. He impregnated her and left her with nothing. Johnny was the one who stepped in and helped out of the re uh, friendship he is a good man elisa i'm so sorry baby i'm sorry for what i said i'm sorry for allowing robert to close to me to you i cannot believe johnny did that for penny and for you what is it to become of now well unfortunately well fortunately you told father the truth so i pray that they will i don't know surely they can't just release him all he has done is to de defend multiple women from a vile creature they should release him i just mean you mustn't give up hope <sighs> i have not hope is all i have left to hold you now <laughs> i have nothing else <laughs> y'all nothing else johnny not a peep did i hear all evening I paced my room, y'all, like a caged beast I trod up and down <laughs> until my feet throbbed and my bones ached. What's going to happen? What? What was going to happen? What? What was going to happen? When I could stand no longer, I sat on the bed for only a moment, but awoke in the most pleasant of dreams. Oh, Johnny. I dreamt Johnny had snuck into my room and that he folded me in his arms and Johnny? Wait, was that a real Johnny? Hold on now. Hold on. <laughs> How did he get out? Did they let him loose? I don't know. Okay. Penny, any news? <sighs> Nothing yet. Baby went to speak to her father. This is not much more that can be done. <sighs> He's done it all this time. Stupid bastard. Maybe not. Maybe baby can save him. If she can, perhaps she can save me next. What do you mean? In the fray earlier, I lost the ring Johnny gave me. <gasps> I was supposed to take it to be appraised today. It was in the apples. But I only just noticed it has fallen from my pocket. I've retraced my steps, but alas, it's gone. His mother's ring? I, well, don't just dilly-dally. We must search again. I have it. I have. It's lost, Penny. No, I will not accept it. All cannot be lost. It simply cannot. Oh, Bill, what are we going to do? He lost the ring. It's in the apples, y'all. All is lost. Y'all, all is lost. Y'all, I cannot take it. <laughs> it is so much going on, y'all. What is going to happen? Was Johnny really in my bed or was it a dream? Like, seriously, and are they going to find the ring? You guys, there's so many unanswered questions. 
<laughs> this is so good, you guys. I love this story. Oh, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what you think is going to happen y'all and if you already know please do not spoil the story y'all i'll be so upset please don't but anyway <laughs> let me know down below how you feeling what you think is going to happen do you think johnny was actually in the bed or is it a dream like did they let him out i don't see them not letting him out but you know we never know maybe we can like break him out and we can just run away let's just do that <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate it remember to like comment subscribe and share if you care and i will catch y'all on another one bye boys